Hello everybody, really welcome to these beardy views. Uh, thanks for joining me. It, it is cold in here today. It is very, very cold uh, day today to do a beer review. Um, Route to the beer review, advent calendar day number eight, advent calendar from uh, Yorkshire Craft Beer. Uh, let's see what's in it, shall we? Number eight, if I can punch through. Oh, I do prefer it's a bottle because it's neck of the bottle is right there and makes it easy to get out ah right okay this i have had before i don't think i've ever reviewed this one i don't even think i've ever reviewed this on untapped uh so this is from fine ales farm brewery a scottish brewery and i think if i it's a session it's a citra session and blonde and i think if i'm right that's yarl uh and I think it's Norwegian for Earl, which is why you say Jarl rather than Jarl. Um, yeah, had that. I think had that when I was up in. Uh, oh, certainly, I've certainly had it when I was up in Scotland, but it was a lot earlier in uh, this year. And if I remember rightly, I kind of, I did kind of like it. Let's, uh, let's see what it's like then, shall we? Let's uh, tip it out, get it in a glass. Now, the alehouse is cold. So this might be a little bit more muted than I remember it, simply because that bottle is absolutely freezing today. Absolutely freezing. That's poured really nice, though. That is a light golden pour, clear. Lots of nice carbonation uh, and a lovely bubbly white head. Looks good. Let's get a sniff, shall we? Oh, even though that's cold, but those aromas are coming through amazing. Got sweet malt, it's sweet malt and citrus. So you've got sweet malt coming through, grapefruit lemon hint of floral in there as well traditional blonde ale aromas but big aromas big aromas tell you what when that starts to warm up a little bit that that'll really start to burst through let's taste it shall we cheers everybody I do remember this being nice now. Oh, that's going down ever so well. Um, three. I didn't see. That's it. Yeah, three point eight percent. Family on Scottish Farm Brewery. Uh, creating modern, ambitious, and progressive beers since 2001. Oh man, I saw some of, I saw some of the description that is on if you want to. Um, yeah, it's, a, it's exactly like the nose. You're getting those sweet malts coming through, and then you're getting the grape through, and the lemon coming through. But I'll tell you what, it is an incredibly Moorish drink is this one I'll tell you what I, I liked about this and I, I like about it now that to be fair on camera I can I can see it's looking darker it's looking probably quite straw color actually on camera here it looks like a really weak golden color very very light golden color and it looks like it's going to be as thin as anything and it isn't it has a really excellent mouthfeel feels really really medium bodied it is it, in the mouth it feels amazing a nice dry bit of finish a lingering bit of finish That is a fine drink. Um, 
Yeah. Um, light pale hops, citrus, uh, grapefruit, lots of lemon in there. Little bit of um, a little bit of floral note to it coming in and out. Great mouthfeel to it. Uh, bitterness is absolutely amazing. Really dry, bitter finish that lingers and clings to your mouth. It's a lovely, it's a lovely hoppy beer. Lovely hoppy beer. Score wise, nine and a half out of ten. That is a nine and a half out of ten from Andy's Bay Reviews. It is a cracking, cracking beer, and I do need to get some more of their beers. I think I've had. Do you know what? I think this is the only one of theirs I've ever had before. But I do need to track down some of their beers. Cracking beer, nine nine and a half out of ten. Whatever you are drinking tonight, please enjoy it until the next review. Cheers, everybody.